All right, so it's that time of year. Um, we got this uh, plow last year. It took forever to get in. We actually ordered it in October and got it in July. So it's pretty much been in a crate sitting underneath the tarp. Um, it's now uh, December, the end of uh, the end of 22. And we're gonna hope for some snow this year where we can actually get to use this thing. Um, this is how they come on the skid. I did do a, a, a video of picking it up. So right now we're gonna go over it. We're going to do the assembly and the uncrating here. This is the Land Pride uh, S, STP 1072. The 72 is for the 72 inch length across here. This one is also set up for the hydraulic cylinder, which is right here. We also have a three, uh, man, what does that call that? The, uh, the third valve function uh, to install on the tractor, which is actually the Kubota one, because we spent the extra money to make sure we had the good stuff. So, let's get this crate cut open and cut apart and start getting this plow thing put together and out of this thing. All right. <clears throat> let's get something here, start cutting this stuff. Get our, uh, get our manual off. <clears throat> That's gonna work. Here's our instruction manual. Like get all that together. Nice big pin. Got some bugs in here. Ah, oh, there's the uh, keyway and our fittings for our hoses. It's got a number on it. There's the number on there. 301507 something. Can't see, it looks like an A. W-I-N-N-E-R, winner. So here's our two hoses. <clears throat> All right, don't get too crazy, man. Knock this thing apart. out
dropping the fork. Oh my goodness does that bring the rattle all right so here we go like i said when i first did this i, I noticed that these were actually pretty thin i mean we're only pushing snow so it's not going to be too bad um i did think that it was going to stick out pretty far here this is actually a little bit farther than what i would have thought that like if it had the bucket on it <clears throat> So anyway, um, right now we're going to open up our instruction manual and we're going to see what goes where. Get everything installed. We got these. We got this hydraulic setup that needs to go in. And we have a fancy knife in my pocket. Well, they had it sealed, you know. Instructions didn't get wet, so that's a good thing. Oh, we got a bag over there that's cut open. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Introduction, assembly and setup, 10. Go to page 10. I mean, most of the time, you don't need instructions for this stuff. You just, you just wing it. If you got any questions, you go back and check it out. Uh, so there is some safety labels, I guess, that are supposed to be on there. Some of those are installed. <clears throat> All right, and the number 9. There's kind of like an area there. It shows you where the hoses are run through. Kind of like a diagram on that one. So 10. Um... It shows poly cutting steel uh, covers. So I believe I actually have the poly cut edge. That's going to be this large one. So it'll get this. And that should be all the bolts that are in this bag. All these, all these nuts and bolts. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut the film on that. I figure that's best for like driveway and stone. Um, they show you where to install these. They come with your bolts here. It's pretty good. I guess you can see it. Helps make it so you can see it. <clears throat> and this is going to be the interesting part here. This one actually shows two separate cylinders. So we're going to have a single cylinder assembly. Which is right here. It looks like it's going to go on the left side. I give you that big pin. There should be a locking pin that goes down through the middle here. I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like when it gets turned, but let's get this edge lined up. Do you want to grab a socket for this? You got one already? Good the deal. Good the deal, man. <clears throat> There's 
Close that side. So you want to do this, put the number on the back. Ah, it doesn't much matter. It can go toward the front or the top. Make it look like you're reading it. And then that's black. This is going pretty good. And this one here is just a little bit different. It's just these last. Just these last. Which way does it look like it needs to go? That's funny. All in one end at one. Hmm. All right, let's, let's get these markers opened up here too. These things are pretty light. Sockets right there. Underneath that line a little bit. I don't know, it looks like it's pretty close. Just watch yourself reaching underneath there. Use L cloth on on. No plow parts. Okay, there you go. Replaces part number. So that's the part number with the 20, 28 inch. Yeah, looks like it. Bolts from the outside, nuts on the inside. I'm just sticking them this way. I would have thought there would have been a washer on top of there. It would make it look a little nicer. I might have to get one. adjustment spring adjustment so you can adjust your spring tension plowing snow how to adjust it it's gonna be different I've always used I mean I've used plows on trucks but Nice to get the defect deflector flap option. That wasn't something I was asked. I didn't even know that that was available, but it just looks kind of cool. Oh, shows you shows you where to grease, uh, spray spray bushings and pivot points with lubrication. Yep, 72 inches. All right, so here's our side marker. I did find some nice washers to go onto here. So I'll go here, through your side marker, and then right in. We have the nuts that go in the back. Alright, those bolts are all nylon locks. Actually, uh, this thing's looking pretty wild. That's for sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, I might have to look into ordering that top piece to help it roll. If that's the tilt that it's going to have. I will have to raise these up some, I think. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little farther they go. No, I mean down. Oh. That's what I mean. Maybe it's in a tilt. <laughs> what actually locks this thing in. Because it should need something here, but there isn't. That goes here. That goes onto one of those. No, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. Is, is that going on? Or that it is. Unless... It don't, does it fit here? It's too, not too big, but it's weird because it fits in that back one, too. Yeah, well, that has that one has pins through it, <clears throat> so it does make you wonder what they gave you that for. All right, got some more stuff to figure out here. Serial number.